Hey y'all, my name is Audra Duran and I am the social impact lead for Chicago at LinkedIn. Rework training is one of our signature partners. And what that means is that we help them incorporate LinkedIn trainings into their curriculum so that their participants can use LinkedIn platform to the top of its capabilities. Because Rework has done such an amazing job of already teaching participants of how to leverage inappropriately, we're going to be focusing on mock interviews with Rework participants. So our coaches on the LinkedIn side are going to be walking through a mock call call, giving feedback, providing coaching, and just overall networking with somebody who works at LinkedIn. We got to hear from the folks at LinkedIn. If you got to tell a candidate one thing that you don't want them to forget, what would it be? I'm starting with Brian. You can never prepare enough give yourself more credit definitely practice out loud being authentic to yourself too right don't ever discredit the kind of background you have find that point of connection using quantitative metrics in terms of demonstrating the impact do research remaining calm within yourself having that like enthusiasm for the role and communicating that goes a long way if you need more time to answer a question it's better to take a breath and say let me think about that for a second than just spit out the first thing that comes to your mind so remember like uncomfortable silence during an interview is totally okay i um practice when i do the star method is use it on real life stories that you have. If you had a great weekend, if you like hung out with your family or you did something, tell your friends that using the STAR method. Focus on you, who you are, being vulnerable. Smile and breathe. Yeah, we're all human, so we're all prone to in terms of having pressure. Everyone gets some nervous. Everyone has tech issues. Everyone makes mistakes. No one cares about that. It's how you bounce back from it. Having specific examples or stories that you can draw upon, especially during the behavioral type of questions, I think is huge in helping build that personal relationship with the interviewer. Be realistic and anticipate the things that can go wrong. Your internet's going to cut off. You're going to get someone that's not giving you a ton of information. Maybe they're obnoxious. And just anticipate it and be able to have a more seamless transition in your responses. Don't be afraid to use the same examples in so many of your interviews. They don't know that you've used it three other times or the same examples rather. So don't be afraid to do that. They do not know. Think about what structure works best for you and just like rinse and repeat. Leverage your different professional or personal experiences and just find creative ways to tie that back to the job description or the question that an interviewer is asking you. Confidence, I think, speaks a lot about your personality and the way you come across. Reflect on your growth. Remember where you started and where you came from. Don't overthink it. Go for it and make sure you set the next meeting or solidify the next steps in the current call. People want to talk to people. Be your true, authentic self. And if a company doesn't want you for who you are, then you don't want that company. Well, like everyone loves talking about themselves. So dive deeper and like you can have like really meaningful conversations that way. I have three stories in bank. Be confident. Don't doubt yourself. There will always be a that throws you off guard. And I think the point there is don't get nervous. Think through it. Ask questions and then just show that there's a the way to solve the problem, even if you don't have the right answer.